So, I kind of have been putting off buying parts for a while. I honestly don't know why. I, I feel like just sometimes it's hard for me to pull the trigger on just like making big purchases. But I finally did it. I went balls deep. And a couple of the things that I got that we're going to be installing today. I picked up Condor Speed Shop solid motor mounts and their polyurethane transmission mounts. So, thankfully, I, I thought these were going to come in tomorrow, which would have sucked because my last day of class for the week before the drift event is today. But thankfully, the parts came in yesterday, so I'm going to be able to utilize the lifts that we have, which is going to make this entire process like 10 times easier. So, I'm probably not going to talk much in there just because I, I, I get nervous talking around, especially my classmates. Like, it just feels weird talking to a camera, especially in class. So, it's probably going to be just mostly camera pointing just installing but yeah it should be a fairly straightforward process if i come across anything that like kind of trips me up i'll probably highlight it a little bit but yeah shit let's get to the install i right, first things first gotta do an mpi that's a good battery Cool, MPI is done for the most part. Eh, you know, the car's looking meh. I just realized the parts are still in the car. Fun stuff. It's straight just sloughed over on the oh, side. Huh? Oh my god. Yeah, it's just straight up slanted. <laughs> yeah, with all the weight. Yeah. These, these are destroyed, bro. Rather than putting the tip that looks like a penis at the top, <laughs> I put the tip that looks flat at the top. I swear to god, if that's the, if that's the issue, <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad, bro. I swear to god, bro. <laughs> That's sad. None of it wants to just stay. Cake money. Money cake? I love me some money cake. I wish I had some cake. Oh yeah. Remember in high school during the assemblies when they do the ice creamy cake? Oh, the ice creamy cake, ice cream. Sure, what the fuck? Is, Stupid ass dances they'd have us do. Literally too. every assembly. It'd be like, all right. <laughs> Let me grab the exhaust without thinking about it. <laughs> oh, dirty boy. Okay. Oh. Can't tell if that's looking at the car. Oh, take it. Hey, there we go. Look at that nasty little thing. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, you can. This one's even worse, though. It's just a little deformed. <laughs> Look at that difference. That's gonna be so nice. And I'm just assuming that I just put it in the orientation where the Condor Speed Shop label is upright. Slide that video in there. Oh, hey, it looks like it's falling right into place. I need to figure out what the torque specs are on these. You know, I feel like I don't need to torque these down this much. All right, I definitely should have looked at the video first. Turns out it's only like eight foot pounds for these Condor Speed Shop ones. Oh, yeah. Um, mine doesn't go down that low. Do I have my inch pound one at? <laughs> Kids, read the directions. That's all I'm gonna say. That's eight times 12. Shit, bro, you're asking the wrong person. 96? Yeah. What comes out to 48? 96, yeah. Bro, that took me way too long. This video looks like it's bulging. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. 
Damn, looks like I was just on the edge of getting it in, so that's good. I didn't over torque it. Come on, it has to almost be there. Are we sure that eight times 12 is 96? It's like these bitches look like they're getting so compressed and I don't like it. It says eight to 10 foot pounds or until they start to compress. And if you look at these, I mean like, that's- Those are mighty compressed. That's pretty compressed. So, I mean, it should be fine. I'm just gonna like back them off a little bit and then we should be good. It looks pretty good. Bling blow. Both of the trans mounts are in. God, look at that nasty ass leaking. Ugh. Unfortunately, it looks like we're running out of time, so I'm not gonna be able to do the engine mounts right now. Which kind of sucks. Cause like, meanwhile we have this like really warm open shop and then outside it's just snow. So yeah, um, who knows, uh, maybe I'll go over to Gabe's tonight to install the engine mounts. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but we're gonna go test out these trans mounts and we're gonna go see how they feel. I'm really curious to see what the idle is gonna feel like now with those transmission mounts in. Cause like the car was already so vibrate before, I feel like it couldn't get too much worse, but I guess let's see. I mean it idled. Doesn't feel any different really. All right, sick, let's give it a little drive, I guess. All right, I don't know how good this camera angle is gonna be or how well the video is gonna turn out because I just had my phone up on my dash inside the phone holder. Didn't feel like rigging up the GoPro right now. Uh, okay, so pulling away from a stop, there's definitely more vibration, it feels like. I do feel a lot less movement in the drivetrain, which is, I guess, to be expected. Definitely more vibration as you're moving though. Like a somewhat considerable amount, but it's nothing unbearable. Here, you know what, actually, I think I might go park real quick and then I'm gonna rig up the GoPro. Cause I feel like this footage is gonna be stupid shaky. <laughs> All right, I made an oopsie. I forgot the case for the GoPro at home. So I can't rig up my GoPro right now, damn. That's big sad. That's like big, big sad. So I guess I'll just drive home and then I'll give you guys my first impressions once I get back. I'm actually so sad I'm not gonna be able to give these first impressions on camera, but you know, it's whatever. You live and you learn. <laughs> All right, so first impressions, the car feels solid as fuck. Like just with transmission mounts alone, like this car just feels 10 times better. Like upshifts are crispy as fuck, downshifts are extra crispy as fuck. Like I didn't know a downshift could feel that good. And like the throttle response is just so like, it just feels so good. Like I still feel like a little bit of movement in the drivetrain. I imagine like once I get my engine mounts in, like it, that'll clear up right away. Some of the negatives though, car vibrating as fuck. But that's to be expected, like uh, it's whatever. This is a track car. So like, honestly, I don't care. Like the daily ability of this is going down, but like I already, I, I literally have another daily sitting right there. So it's like, it's whatever, so. I'm super happy with this this single mod, like just transmission mods. If you do not have transmission mods, or transmission mods, transmission mounts in your E36, if you don't have transmission mounts in your E36, then you are missing out and you need to go pick some up right now. I'm hoping I'll be able to go over to Gabe sometime soon to get those engine mounts in. And then, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet actually, but I also got myself a PMC short shifter. Oh, that's a rag. PMC short shifter. I got the 440 mil option. This thing looks just absolutely like amazing. Like it's just so nice. It feels absolutely solid and it's tall as fuck, which I'm happy about because I have tiny arms and it's sometimes hard for me to shift into fifth because I can't reach it all the time. But that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be, get the, be able to get the engine mounts in today, but I'll see you guys when we get to doing that. All right, I got antsy and I didn't feel like waiting. So of course I choose the absolute worst time to want to work on my car. And that's in crazy ass snow. So I already got the car up on jack stands. I already have the engine supported by the jack. So I guess we just gotta start unbolting these biddies. Oh, oh. Feels like it's on there. Oh. Sounds like I might have cracked it loose a little bit. I wonder if I can get on there with a regular ratchet now. Ooh. I stand corrected, it is not loose. Well, poopy. Well, that 
that's not ever good. Ah, okay. Not bad at all. Sick. It has to be loose now. It has to be loose enough for me to get at that with a wrench. Oh yeah. You know, I guess while I'm working on this side, I should probably PV blast the other side. That is one little rusty son of a gun. Now to get this bolt on the underside. Sick. All right, well, let's move on to the other side. All right, so I had to make a quick run to Harbor Freight. I had to give me uh, one of these universal joints. The driver's side was definitely not that bad. But if you don't have a universal joint, you're gonna have a terrible time and you're definitely gonna round off that top bolt. But now that I have the passenger side all loosened up, uh, I've started jacking up the engine. So now all there's left to do is pull out the old mounts and then pop in the new ones. All right, so I just jacked up the car a little bit and I was able to pull this out the top, but God damn, look at this engine mount. This thing is absolutely trashed. I didn't even realize these were so bad. I, I'm actually like 10 times more excited to see how these new mounts are gonna feel then because if they, if my old engine mounts were that bad, these ones are gonna be fucking amazing. Yeah, there's no way this is getting in with this much space. I'm gonna have to jack it up a little bit more, I think. There's so many options for holes. Go in the hole! Oh, oh, it's in the hole. Oh wait, you know what? I almost forgot a very important part. Gotta remember to put the heat shield back on. You know, the more I'm out here, the longer I'm out here, the more I'm really just regretting my decision. I keep thinking that, like, I'm keeping this thing covered, but then snow just keeps getting on it. Like, just stay, stay dry, please. All right, I gotta do this fast because my phone's about to die. But, got both of the mounts in. You can't see the one over there, but you get the idea. Got them all torqued down. Everything's good to go. I'm so cold. If you guys don't remember what it looked like before, this is what it looks like now. Whole lot more snow than before. Yeah, if you can't tell, I got a bit of, <laughs> got a, bit of a fat lip because um, I accidentally knocked out this uh, strut on my hood that's not connected and kind of kind of smashed my face into the ratchet I was using. I am so cold. My toes are wet. They're so wet. My fingies, can't really feel my fingies. I'm gonna go take a shower, I'm gonna wash up, and then I think I kinda wanna try and get the car out of the neighborhood. I think we could do it. <laughs> This is gonna be such a bad idea. All right, got the tent all put away. It's time to give her her first start. With how much vibration there was before, I'm kind of nervous to see how much there's gonna be now. I'm gonna close this door, it's too fucking snowy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that's a good chunk of vibration. <laughs> I think that I'm gonna try and clear off some of the snow off my car. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's like a blizzard out here. I'm gonna try and get the snow off my car, and then I think I might try and drive it down the road. God damn, I'm getting dusted. <laughs> Alright, so I thought I'd try out a little bit of a different angle. I don't know, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out of my neighborhood. My car makes so many new weird noises with all these vibrations now. This is probably gonna annoy the ever-living shit out of you guys. <laughs> wow, the shifter feels so tight. Oh, that's great. And the roads look like they're pretty... pretty bare for the most part, so... I don't think we'll have too much trouble here. Throttle response is crazy. Pretty much all the movement in the in the drivetrain that I was feeling before is pretty much gone. It seems like it almost seems to have like evened out the vibration that came from just the transmission mounts, though. It's kind of weird. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> that was like lightly tipping in in third. That wasn't even like gas. <laughs> a proper pull in anywhere I feel like because it's just slush pretty much everywhere at this point. Oh yeah, look at that sick sick 180 pro. Sick U-turn. This is so fun! What the fuck? <laughs> what the 
myself in check. I can't be getting too cocky out here. <laughs> guys we're back home final thoughts on the condor speed shop mounts overall i'm just super impressed with them like just th those are some of like the best mods i feel like you can do for your e36 the the ease of installation the price like you, you can't go wrong with with those uh, mounts if you're looking for a cheap mod that's going to totally change how your car feels transmission mounts and engine mounts are definitely the way to go. I still have a couple more parts that I'm gonna be installing here pretty soon, so you guys can expect videos about those in the coming days, coming weeks. You guys already saw the short shifter, but there's also a couple other things that I got that I think are really gonna change this car and are gonna make it perform absolutely crazy on track. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet, but you'll see it when the video comes out. If you guys made it this far, I would really appreciate if you go down and hit the like button, you know, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing if you enjoyed the video. But I think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.